Hey guys, before we get into this video, I want to let you know that the device you see in this video, the Hyper Ice Hypersphere Mini, that company reached out to me and said that if you go to their website in the next 48 hours and use the code ZJAHYPE, you get 20% off yours. So don't forget about that if the Hypersphere is something that you're interested in. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Joe ZJ here, author and voice actor, and today we're going to talk about something a little bit different, athletics. If you don't already know, I'm actually a parkour athlete in addition to all the other stuff I do because I like keeping myself on the verge of injury as much as I possibly can. I like to work out, I like to keep myself in shape, and there are a lot of tools I have in my toolbox to keep myself healthy. One of the things we're going to talk about today, especially for you gamers out there, is something called myofascial release. What is myofascial release? The fascia is something that leans over the top of your muscles and also binds them together via tendons and ligaments like that. They are not muscles, it's a different type of tissue. And as such, you really can't stretch them. But what can happen over time is these muscles and the fascia will bind together forming knots and uncomfortable points. If your fascia aren't released, then your muscles can't work as hard as they could. Myofascial release is sometimes known as rolling out. Rolling out is when you apply pressure to your fascia and your muscles over a sustained period of time, and that eventual friction then takes out the knots and reduces the binding between the fascia and your muscles. I try to roll out every time I work out, both before and after, to make sure I'm performing as good as I can and to make sure that I am avoiding injury. Typically, you might see people use something like this in order to roll out. They'll put this over their back or their neck or they'll lay on the ground and do some stuff with it and just different ways to roll out. It always usually feels really uncomfortable, so I call this my profanity generator because I'm always swearing because I'm always super tight. There are other ways you can do myofascial release as well, including lacrosse balls, softballs, different ways you can get to different spots on your back. But today, I want to demo a neat product that I found at TwitchCon that I think will be great for gamers. This right here. This is the Hyper Ice Sphere Mini. It is a myofascial release device. It's a hard rubber ball, nice and heavy and solid, about the size of the palm of my hand, you can see, so it can fit in a lot of different areas. But the cool thing about this one, you hear that? Not only is it myofascial release, but it gives you a very powerful massage as well, which is super cool. So in order to introduce this little gizmo that they gave me at TwitchCon, I want to talk about three ways that we as gamers sit and perform in ways that make us tight and uncomfortable, and how to use something like myofascial release and the mini sphere to get it all out. Let's see. You're at your computer desk all day, and your shoulders are reaching up all the way to your ears, and man, does that make your neck and upper back hurt. So this position that we sit in where our shoulders are all hunched up and we're on the keyboard looking like some kind of weird zombie thing. I know I do it too. After a couple of really hard days of work, I feel really, really tight in my upper back and neck. And the way that I like to use a myofascial release ball, especially the Hyper Ice since it's all vibrating and all that, uh, is I like to drive it right in between my shoulder blades. And I'll show you here how to do that. You find yourself a wall, you take the ball and you try to stick it right in the soft spot. Don't roll over your scapula, because that hurts. Your scapula being the shoulder blades. Stay in the soft areas. Remember, if this is for soft areas only. You don't want to be rolling over bones or anything like that. So you just take this right here, you turn on the massage to wherever you want it to be, and you drop it right in here. Now you want to lean back up against the wall like this. So you've got a lot of pressure, and you just kind of work that right in there. You can grab your arm and bring it across your chest if you want to expose more of the soft tissue. Get your shoulder blade out of the way and you just work it in there. If you find a spot that hurts, it hurts so good. And just work it through. You can go all the way up and down that area right next to your spine as comfortable as you want. You can increase pressure by coming up on your toes. You can increase pressure by going backwards. Anything you wanna to do to make that feel better. And after a while, it just feels good. So there's one way to do that. Problem spot number two, you're gaming on the couch. You're leaning up to look at something overhead and that kills your lower back. Ouch. For this second spot, the spot that hurts the most ends up being your lower back, right here, because you have this pelvic tilt that's all the way forward. It's really pinching these muscles, and it's also not letting them do a whole lot of work. Uh, it's, it's hurting your, your bones, it's everything like that. So we can talk about correcting your posture in another video. But for this one here, you take a myofascial release ball or the hyper ice, and you drop it right here. 
where you can feel the space in between your uh, spine and your hips, the tops of your hips. Just drop that right here and sit back up against the wall like that. You guys can see the ball sitting right there. That's how you put it. And you just work that right in there. Very similar to the way you did with the top of your shoulders. And just kind of let it sit. Oh, this is one of the worst parts on my body because of the way I sleep and because of the way I sit and because of the way I walk. I have a bad, well, what's called an anterior pelvic tilt. So I'm always putting pressure on the base of my spine. And this just feels awesome. And lastly, you spend all your day sitting. That makes your hip flexors and your quads really tight. And when you stand up, you make this old man face. All right, we're gonna get a little down and dirty on this one. It's gonna be a little awkward, but we gotta get those hip flexors stretched out and that fascia beat up real good. It's one of the hardest places on your body to get to, which is why I like myofascial release, especially if you're not very good at stretching. If you're not flexible enough in the quad to get to your hip flexors, then this is a great way to isolate the hip flexors, get them nice and worked out, get a good massage going, and uh, I don't know, let's just do it. You take this right here, right? Your hip flexors are here, the connective tissue between your hip and your quad. You drop that sucker right there, and you get very close and personal with the floor. If you can see just a little bit in here, I have the ball sitting right in that soft tissue. I'll come up with my forearms, and I'll just sort of rock back and forth. Man, that's tight. It's always tight on me, and I'm sure it's tight on you. When you're sitting down all day, it's really tough to get this loose. So spending a couple minutes a day, especially after a long gaming session, getting this all squared away, it's gonna make you feel way better. Don't forget to drink water. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you learned something about your body. I hope you learned something about myofascial release and how to take care of yourself, especially after a long day of gaming. I know sometimes our passions, our jobs, they don't let us or they force us to use and abuse our bodies in ways that maybe they weren't designed to. But with the power of myofascial release and good stretching, good hygiene, good hydration, and something like the Hyper Ice Mini Sphere, uh, it will help you stay feeling good, stay loose, and uh, relax after a long day of gaming. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.